Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. Five Russian banks ready to lead Russia's CBDC pilot test. So five Russian banks have reportedly expressed their readiness to participate in the pilot test for the Bank of Russia's proposed digital rubble. I think it's pronounced ruble, following the release of its public consultation report, according to the local news agency Izvestia, the Bank of Russia will conduct an experiment on using the digital ruble for a limited circle of people after its ongoing public consultations and as early as the first half of 2021. On the next article, the digital technology and economic science can help during crises like the issue at hand. Economists are not on the front line in combating the public health effects of the issue at hand, but they can translate it into economic and financial impacts and suggest improvements to our system to provide better insurance against further threats. And really, I'm just going to highlight something that's in this article because I find it absolutely exciting and amazing. As you get into the article, uh, well, before the issue at hand, the U.S. monetary system faced challenges from advances in technology and the changes in the macro economy, and that left unaddressed threatened the stability of the U.S. economy and the financial system. So despite its recent aggressive interventions, the Federal Reserve needs new tools to efficiently and effectively meet its mandates of price stability and maximum employment. And it also needs to preserve the safety and soundness of the financial system and rapidly digitizing world. So as you get into the next part of this article is where it starts becoming a little more obvious and exciting. In a second policy brief, we propose that households be granted recession insurance bonds. They're called RIBs. And that would be inactive during the good times but in the bad times the federal reserve could act quickly and decisively to purchase these bonds and transfer cash to households digital payment provider the dpp accounts the structure of the ribs would be designed so that the federal reserve has the resources and mandate to stabilize the economy while leaving distributional issues to congress and the president So some of the recent market interventions by the Fed would be arguably less necessary if investors were confident that monetary policy could address liquidity crunch faced by consumers. And you know, as we're getting into the digital world, the banks have to have their digital wallet set up, although most of them immediately had that prepared and ready in the past few weeks and have actually been running advertisements on TV kelp trading bot using the stellar battle platform with a total pool prize of 20,000 XLM. The contest called for people to create educational content based on their experiences using kelp. And they're finally excited to get to share the winning submissions with the stellar community. Out of the submissions, there was a wide range of subjects introduced to name a few automated trading liquidity, arbitrage, kelp, stellar decentralized exchange, order book spreads, centralized exchanges, and the risk of automated trading. Most participants pulled these concepts together to paint a picture of how kelp can help create an open and efficient trading marketplace on stellar. As we get into the next article, former PwC partner to launch New Zealand Power Dollar Stablecoin. And PwC was also connected to Ripple and VeChain. Power Finance, led by former PwC partner, plans to launch a New Zealand digital dollar stablecoin early next year. The New Zealand-based financial services company, Power Finance, plans to launch what is called a world-first digital version of the New Zealand dollar. Set to launch early next year, the digital currency will employ DLT. The power dollar is not government backed, however, and is more akin to a stable coin such as Tether than a true digital dollar. It is being set up privately and will be backed by one for one by New Zealand dollars held by inland revenue through its tax pooling system. The next article, Fed Chairman Powell 
to speak about digital currencies next week at IMF. And on the panel, the future of cross-border payments at the International Monetary Fund's IMF annual meeting. And that one's going to be very exciting because I believe that's the same panel that Danelle will be speaking from Stellar. The next article, we have Blockchain and Payments Report 2020 from Adoption to Growth. And for the third straight year, Ripple is excited to share its annual blockchain payments report, a comprehensive look into the fintech industry and blockchain's increasing role in payments. The year's report uncovered that not only is growth indeed possible for blockchain and digital asset initiatives, but that familiarity and positive sentiment continue to rise as well across five global regions, which include North America, Europe, Middle East, and Africa, Latin America, and Asia and Pacific, familiarity with blockchain and cryptocurrency ranges from a whopping 82% to 94%. Meanwhile, positive sentiment in both continues to grow with favorability among cryptocurrencies somewhat stronger across regions from 62% to 75%. Then blockchain, 52% to 73%. Those are massive increases and in gains. So that's very exciting that people are being very understanding and supportive of the new asset class and change. The next article, Ripple's report analyzes key factors driving the global blockchain adoption into 2020. Ripple's third annual blockchain and payments report had some interesting revelations regarding digital asset adoption globally. Despite the ongoing issue at hand, 79% of business reported growth in 2020, with 44% stating that innovation and payment technology is a key growth driver. On the next article, we have Ripple confirm again the Bank of America is using its tech at Swell, the Digital Gen Financial Services CEO. So, if you remember, or I should say if you were here when Brad first was interviewed and discussing that, I think he was caught a little by surprise when Bank of America had released or someone had leaked that Bank of America had released the patent with Ripple uh, inside stated and actually visibly obvious on their patent and brad garlinghouse the ceo of ripple was directly asked can you confirm or kill and he said he could neither confirm nor kill the rumor and i think that was enough but it's good to see a year later that the confirmation was absolutely accurate global shipping leaders join ibm and maersk blockchain platform Two leading global container carriers have joined the TradeLens platform to digitize their supply chain. And we you know, tend to update in regards to this supply chain with IBM connection because of obviously a big thing with IBM is its connection back to Stellar. On the next article, we have central bank digital currencies are not cryptocurrencies. There's a recent upswing in interest in central bank digital currencies with China piloting DCEP, its version of a digital yuan, aggressively in several of the most prominent central banks in the world, including the Federal Reserve and the European Central Bank, commenting on their implementation of a CBDC, indicating that central banks around the world are looking at the positives and negatives of offering a general purpose central bank digital currency. And about 80% of central banks in a recent survey were looking at implementing CBDCs, and more than half have already started running experimental pilots. And I wanted to thank Chi-Town XRP at Chi-Town X for tagging me in that article, because I think when you're looking at that, 80% of central banks in a recent survey were looking to either implement them or have already started you know running experimental pilots and we've shown for the past few years how ibm and stellar have been already working with cbdc's with many of the central bank digital currencies and the um you know for example you have others like nem xem who has been working with lithuania and venezuela but some of those are changing you know as they may start off on a one they are switching as we've shown that one of those central banks initially was on them and is now converting over to stellar the next and final article of this video is trump's security hawks called distributed ledgers critical end quote critical in u.s china tech arms race 
The Trump administration has included DLT, Distributed Ledger Technologies, the granddaddy tech behind cryptocurrency and blockchain, in its strategy for preserving America's technological supremacy over China and Russia. DLT is one of 20 focus areas on the National Security Council's Critical and Emerging Technology Shortlist. It was released last Thursday. When something makes the National Security Council list, that's a big deal. Not to mention its shortlist, which means immediate priority. So that is very significant because, again, it is on the National Security Council's Critical and Emerging Technologies Shortlist. I'm going to leave you with a final thought. The greatest pleasure in life is doing what people say you cannot do. Remember, this is not financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only. Much love to each and every one of you. You are amazing. And we'll catch you in the next one.